Welcome back. We've been discussing the impact of the seventh pay commission with Sagar Bhattacharya of Axis Bank, Madan Sabnivas of Crystal, and uh, market expert Deepan Mehta. Gentlemen, thanks very much for staying on. Uh, appreciate it very much. Sagada, just a quick point on uh, uh, bank deposits and the accretion that can happen there. Uh, is it, it could, be, could it be significant? I mean, bank deposits are at multi-decade low levels. You have uh, some outflow coming up in the month of September. Uh, can this cushion all of that a little bit in your assessment? Uh, it can. It can. Uh, what happened, again, I mean, going back to the, to the sixth pay commission, uh, there was a very significant increase in savings bank deposits mm. at that point in time. Mm. Uh, and uh, this time, of course, I mean, uh, at, at that point in time, uh, equity markets had just, uh, were just recovering from the collapse uh, of the year back. So, I mean, uh, there might have been some discomfort in moving things to mutual funds. So I'm not very sure how behaviorally uh, investment savings behavior will happen this time, but definitely banks will will benefit, and and particularly in terms of low cost deposits. Maybe not as much as happened last time, uh, but we are certainly bound to see an increase. And and if you are correct that I mean there will be more investment in in housing, for instance, with mm. bank loans. Mm. Uh, people uh, investors typically tend to keep some part of the EMI in bank accounts, particularly SB accounts. Mm. Uh, so we we should see some increase in 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 the savings bank deposits. Yes. Madam, same same question to you. Uh, so, I mean, it actually does help both uh, consumption and investment, right? With a bit of a delay, of course. No, in terms of uh, savings, to my mind, it'll be, uh, uh, it will be it won't be that uh, prominent because, uh, if, again, if I go back to those numbers, we're talking about 1 lakh crores, which may be, say, 30,000 crores is being saved. Hmm. But typically, if you look at the household uh, saving pattern, on half of that, not more than, say, 55, 60% actually goes to banks. The balance could be going into provident funds, insurance, and uh, okay. other debt instruments. So there will be a marginal impact that will be positive. I mean, definitely it won't be negative. But again, I wouldn't uh, overplay the, uh, the impact. Deepan, uh, any reason to worry about uh, inflation-related uh, sort of impact? Because industry is operating at, uh, you know, 70, 75% capacity utilization. So maybe a little bit of a spike of in, in inflation initially, but should cool off. Okay, I think uh, we have some issues with that line. Apologies for that. So, Agatha, you want to take that? The inflation-related uh, point? Yes, I, I think this was potentially the most uh, I the issue that was of most concern. Mm. Uh, I, I, I don't think uh, it's going to be a very significant event, as Madan was saying. I mean, and particularly even on this front, on the inflation front. A mm. uh, couple of things. One, of course, we need to find out, uh, we need to wait for to see what goes on, uh, how, how the allowances are uh, structured going forward. But the way uh, that the new CPI index is structured, uh, compared to the old CPI IW index on which uh, the HRA used to operate. Mm. Uh, so there was a enormous spike in the in the HRA numbers of, of the old CPIW, but I mean things have changed in the CPI. First, uh, the the weights of, of housing in the new CPI index are much lower than, than the earlier CPI. So that's one. Uh, secondly, the uh, the way that the CPI numbers, are, the survey numbers are collected by using a geometric mean rather than an arithmetic mean. In other words, all the outliers, the very large increases in the house rent allowances, are actually compressed together with the geometric mean as compared to the arithmetic mean. So that's the second difference. The third difference is the way the survey is done uh, mm. with the current CPI numbers. One sixth of the of the households that are surveyed are done at a time, so it's a six month process. Mm. So in other words, I mean only one sixth of the increase in HRA as and when it comes in uh, will 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 happen over the next six months, so that that the increase will be tempered. Uh, over a period. So I, I think that the impact of the HRA, which is the, the most significant impact of yeah. uh, the, the pay commission increases, mm. will be more muted over in this, this time round. And secondly, in terms of food, other articles, uh, particularly the other consumables, that uh, industrial manufactured consumables that we talk about, mm. there is, our sense is there is some excess capacity still in the system. Mm. So maybe, I mean, the, the additional demand will not spike up and in, in lead to a spike in, in, in those prices. Food prices, there are other global prices, yeah. other factors that, that play a role in this. So I, I think the, the impact should be limited. Madan, uh, would this have, in, a, in terms of funding this from the budget, is there going to be any issue at all? Could this eat into the total capital expenditure outlay uh, of the government in financial year 17? I mean, that is about 2.4, 2.5 lakh crores. 
Uh, yeah, it depends upon, yeah. uh, Prashant, it depends upon uh, how, how exactly the government is able to manage the budget mm. and how exactly the staggering takes place. Mm. But yes, in the eventuality, in case they're sticking to the three and a half percent mark and for some reason we don't see the other revenues increasing, then the government will have to compromise on uh, capital expenditure in order to meet this particular commitment. Because this is something which is committed, which has to be paid along with areas for six months. So this is a, a this is a fixed commitment. So in case a revenue doesn't go up, I think they'll have no option but to down on capital expenditure. But then I think that's uh, all right for all governments because uh, if we uh, if we are looking at fiscal prudence being the main objective, then uh, I mean some of the the outcomes could be uh, unpalatable, like lower capital expenditure. But that's how it will be. Right. Well, no, but as you said, fifty thousand odd has been uh, provided for fifty thousand crores. It's about uh, providing the rest, which is another about 30 or 1,000 crores, right? On the general Absolutely. budget. Absolutely. And, I, and actually, we, I, we don't know if the budget are all, also factored in the additional tax, and uh, sorry, direct taxes and indirect taxes, which would come in on account of this spending. Mm. So they would be the tax that source for, for this 1 lakh crores, mm. as well as the money being spent on consumer goods would be giving certain excise uh, collections for the government. I'm not sure that's already been buffered, uh, buffered in. I mean, that could be an additional uh, revenue for the government.